Jack, another massive win for you in the Ladbrokes Championship. How big was that? Yeah, look, it's a, at this stage of the season, we understand the importance of winning games. Um, to win it against a team that has, has challenged um, for promotion up to this point of the season, we'll continue to do so. Um, it's fantastic. Um, players have to show a huge amount of character and resilience in the latter part of the game to withstand a lot of pressure. Um, we've had a really punishing schedule of games, um, so that ability to, to dig deep was terrific. I said this after Saturday's game, I think the supporters understand there's a, a team out there that is reflecting how they feel about the club. Um, and they played well for parts of the game as well, but there's always a be and end all at the moment. Um, and so from that point of view, I'm delighted. How proud are you of them and of them seeing out the game the way they did? That's the word I used at the end, is pride. It, doesn't, it matters to an extent that I'm proud of them, but they should have pride in themselves and each other. That's what it's ultimately what it's about, what they foster within that group in there, because they are the ones that are on the pitch. They have to have that uh, togetherness um, on the pitch, and so they, they should feel an enormous amount of pride that they were able to see the game out against a, against a good team. Um, and the pleasing thing today was that, again, the contributions from those coming off the bench highlights the importance of the squad and the togetherness of the squad as a whole. Um, I spoke often enough about how I felt as if it's been there over the last couple of months since the window shut. It feels like a good group. I believed in them. They are now believing in each other. Uh, and that belief is growing with every result like tonight. Moving to within one point of air, how much confidence can that give the, the boys knowing that they're stepping ever closer? Well, what, what they've done is they went from a period not so long ago where we were written off by a lot of people. Um, I never felt that, but we used it at times as motivation. I had to use it to them because I didn't like being written off as a player. Um, they shouldn't like that as professionals and they've responded to that. We're still in the most difficult position in the league. That hasn't changed, but I believe there's a squad here that's, that's capable of winning games in this final quarter. Um, winning enough games and they've started that tonight again we've shown that and they're on their own I think we might only have lost two of our last ten league games I think something around that is, is good for them uh, if we can keep replicating that over this final quarter then, then we'll be okay Obviously early in the season wins were hard to come by it was only something like I think two wins in 23 or something like that three wins from the last five you happy with the men momentum that the team's building up? Yeah, our forum, league and cup, has been very good over the last six to eight weeks. Uh, we did a little blip at, at, at Kirkcaldy last week, but I still thought we should have taken something from that game. Um, you know, there's times where I'll learn from it as well in terms of how we do, how we approach each game and, and what we do during it. So, but yeah, the momentum is there. You can feel it. The crowd can feel it. People around the club can feel it. The atmosphere has, has most definitely shifted around the place. As I said, a long, long way to go for us. It's mentally draining for the players because they have each game is, is a massive game, um, but they can't shy away from that. They understand it because I highlight it to them all the time, and they're embracing it at the moment. Uh, and long may that continue. Harry Davis came off in the first half. What was the extent of his injury? Uh, yeah, it's, um, it, it looks like quite a serious injury for Harry. Um, he's away at hospital just now. Um, his dad is up to watch the game, so his dad's away with him. Our medical staff will go up once they're finished here, but. Uh, possibly could be out for the rest of the season, which is an enormous blow for him personally, um, for us as a, as a club, because he's been terrific. He's a great character, player, personality. Really got a lot of time for him, uh, how he settled into the club, how he settled into living up here. So if it is the case, then a huge blow for us. And if it is the case, then it strengthens our motivation to, to succeed this season, because he's made a huge contribution in his time here defensively and obviously chipping in with goals as well. Big day for uh, Stevie Mallon, has a hundred start, and Lewis Morgan, both of the two of them in the Scotland under-21 squad and both on the score sheet tonight. How proud are you for them that they're in the Scotland uh, fold now? Yeah, look, the first thing I feel that is, is pride for them. You know, I sent the messages this afternoon when I found out. Um, delighted for them, I think it's well deserved. I think they're both talented players. And what we'd say about both of them is they've had to endure a difficult season at times. Um, probably a real test of character for them as young men. Uh, I always spoke to them and said if they come through this, they'll be the better for it. And I think they're coming out the other side of it. I think the forum, Lucy's forum's probably been a little bit more consistent over the season. I think Stevie certainly over the last six to eight weeks we've seen the best of him again. His contribution from dead balls and from open play, his desire to do well for the club. So great for them. A reflection of the squad that we have in there at the moment because you only get that recognition if the players around you are doing well and also for the club, the fact that 
even in the position we're in, we still producing players that are, are recognised at that level. So, delighted for them. I look forward to, to seeing them hopefully involved when the game comes around. Um, I think, was it? A couple of weeks yesterday. So, um, yeah, really pleased with them. You said that this is a wee bit of a draining run at the moment, and it can be for the players, but does the opportunity to potentially lift themselves off the bottom and go into ninth place with a win on Saturday drive them, do you think? Yeah, of course. Like they, they, when I say draining, it is draining, but they've responded to it very well so far um, because we've made big demands on them. And in terms of asking how they approach the game, the tempo they play the game at, we've looked after them physically and what we do as a club professionally in recovery and so on they understand that I think they appreciate it that we've tried to look after them we've not made um, demands of them that aren't possible within the schedule but they'll be no problem they'll have no problem with that come Saturday because they recognise that, that, that for the first time in a long time depending upon other results there is that huge incentive and huge prize for winning the game So, and they've also got a free week to look forward to and lead up to cup final which is good as well You know, they've not had that in, a, in, in quite a while now so that's another thing for them to know that they go and, and empty themselves like they did tonight and they'll, and they'll have time to recover and lead up to the cup final after that. Well, you've touched on it, the cup final. Can tonight's result, tonight's performance, can I have any bearing going into the game a week on Saturday? I don't, I don't think I'll have a great deal, you know, because we, United could point to the fact that they, they had already beaten us twice this season before tonight. So, um, no, I've said previously, I think the game is a standalone game. You know, people ask, would it, would it give us a lift going into the league games? I don't think it makes any difference whether whatever happens in cup final day, it's a, it's a one-off game for us. But it's a game that certainly we go in in a good place, a good frame of mind. Um, and I think from tonight and the previous games against them, it's a game that will attract interest because it'll be a good game. You know, It's, it's two good teams um, who have a desire to go forward and have good players in forward areas. So when it comes around, it's exciting for the club. I think nights like tonight obviously hopefully help generate that interest in it from supporters as well. So look forward to when it comes around, but we've got a bigger game on Saturday to contend with first. Thanks very much.